Hello, my name is Herman Koch. I live in Amsterdam and I'm a writer. And my book that is published recently in the UK is called The Dinner. Well, anyway, it's in between 20, 25 languages and, uh, of course, even more countries because uh, this is this also in the Spanish world and uh, in South America, uh, but it's only, it's only one language. And, um, no, it's done quite, quite well. It's actually my, my first book that is translated uh, abroad and immediately so wildly abroad. It's remarkable, though, because you've written six novels so far. This is the first to be translated into English, and it's done amazingly well. And it's going to, f it's going to be filmed as well? Yes. There's now a Dutch movie in the make, which will be released uh, next year, 2013. <clears throat> and um, I don't know exactly when. It might go to the Cannes Festival. So it's, but, of course, there's a pre-selection, so we don't know if it's really going to make it. Well, I hope this also means that your other novels will also be translated into English, because it seems we've had to wait an incredibly long time for your novels to be translated. Yeah, I did it. I, it's, it's, it's just a thing that happens to you. You know, you're not waiting to be translated. You think, well, then suddenly everybody is interested. And, uh, of course, this has to do with the success and sales in the Netherlands. But not only, there also there are successful books that nobody abroad wants to read. And so I'm really, what I feel, um, what for me is the most remarkable thing, and what I like the most is that in every country, I'm really unknown. You know, I've, my, my, my books, of course, were published, uh, published six novels here, and so I was already a known uh, writer. It like feels like a first book being published. I feel like completely unknown in England, in Ireland, in France. I'm just an anonymous person. Nobody knows me. Nobody knows my past. And uh, in your own country, they already know you, and also they, they tend to judge you. Like along these lines, I say, well, this book is different from the last one. But the, the funny thing about the dinner is that it's really the first book in every other country. So they can't compare it with anything. So you do realize that when you come to the UK, you will be asked about your um, comedy sketches on TV as well. Yeah. And I think that because you performed for 15 years or mm -hmm. so as a TV um, satirist. Yes. So this kind of Monty Python's Little Britain type of humor, mm -hmm. which we love, which is what you were doing. So yeah, it's, a, it's difficult to compare the kinds of humor, but something of The Office, something of series that Ricky Gervais does with extras and Monty Python, it has to do, and Fry and Laurie in their time, and the, not the 9 o'clock news I remember quite well with Rowan Atkinson. So there are, there are all kinds of, kinds of influences. What do you hope? to show or experience or do on this high impact tour? Why did you agree to do it? Apart from the fact that I asked you, <laughs> which of course I'm delighted by. No, I like, I like, I like to see the, the reaction of uh, other audiences uh, outside of my country and in England and just to see what kind of impact, high or low, uh, my own reading has in, a, in an audience. You're going to be reading in English? Yes, I will. I will try that. And yeah. everything will be in English? Yes. Now, I don't think Dutch writers have any problems at all with English, but it'll be a challenge for you to do that every single night in English. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I, you, sh you should be a little bit inspired every night to, to really... I know that for, for that I think it's good to be more than just one day in England. You know, I think, of course, it's the, the, the second day is going to be already like normal to, to speak English all the time. So by the sixth day, the sixth, day, the sixth right. city mm -hmm. in London, you're going to be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> okay.